Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing this makeup brush cleaner washing machine. I actually got it at Five Below. And I got this around, you know, Christmas time, so sometime in December. Um, and there was only two left at my store, and I haven't checked anywhere else after that. I just thought, I remember seeing somebody a couple years ago having something just like this on YouTube. And I want to say they got it from Amazon, and I've done my research before, and it was more than $5. So... I figured five dollars I had to get it and we are going to try it out okay so the instructions say it needs two AAA batteries which are not included add one third cup of warm water and soap cleaner to the washing machine place beauty sponge or brush into the mini washing machine keep pressing button until the makeup tool is clean. After cleaning for 10 seconds, it can be removed and then drain the water using pipe on the side. Leave lid open to dry completely before storing. So I got my soapy water right here. Now just going to pop it open. Pour my water and then I want to try brush first and you know it looks let's see looks pretty dirty and let's try it out we're gonna okay it's going just gonna Push it in there. Okay, it slows down when you touch around it. The middle part that like swirls the water. So you kind of have to have a good spot for it. Oh, for it to keep kind of moving. And I don't know. I don't think I ever watched this brush because I don't ever really use it. Which I should be. I just don't do my makeup a lot. Like I would love to. Um, so yeah, so I don't really, I haven't reached for this brush since. And it had like a pink, pink pigment to it. I wonder if I could just leave it. No, no, I don't want to because I know it's going to crinkle around. Okay, and now I stopped it. I stopped to get some water, some clean water. And we're gonna see what it does. Okay, I got my paper towel on the side right here. You can't see. Okay, so let's see. It looks like this. You know, I didn't wipe it yet, but we are going to wipe it. Okay, I think it's actually pretty cool. I mean, it didn't clean it completely, so maybe, like, you're going to have to, like, do it again. Or, I think I do know, like, or I've heard that red pigment stains, but I don't really, or not red, pink, but, um, let me see, this is what it looks like, let me see, it's focusing, there we go. I think it's pretty decent, like right there, but like over here, hold on, no, there we go, I think it looks pretty good, um, yeah, I think it's clean pretty good, let me get, maybe get some clean water and, uh, do it again, on the napkin, it looks like this, so not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to actually drain it just to see, like, if, you know, what it looks like and stuff. The water's dirty and they just go like this. I think maybe like, oh, tip it over. 
Oh no, you can't see it. Wait a minute. Okay, let's figure this out real quick. Okay. And let's drain it again. You know, pretty dirty. Wow. It's actually pretty good. I think this is a good good find and good buy. You know. That was the pink. Or yeah, the pink that, that was on my brush. I think maybe if I were to do it again, I think it'd clean it off even more. Okay, so I decided that I want to test out my my sponge because it says it can be a sponge too. This is what it looks like, you know, pretty dirty. That probably won't come off because my kids got a hold of it and I don't know what it is. And after watching it before, it just didn't come off. So, I'm going to have to clean this out. It's just foam, I want to say. Okay. Um, it should be okay. I'm going to pour my water in. You can't see that, and that's okay. So, I'm going to just... Let's see. Plop it in and close it. And let me get this into a better better angle real quick. Okay, so got it right here. Uh oh. Can't maybe I should leave it open because it stopped as soon as I pressed it. Okay, it's going in there. It wouldn't go in circles. Um, when the lid was closed and now it's kind of stopping. Let me just, okay, so it just completely stopped now. Um, let me turn it off and just do that again. I don't know. Maybe, I guess it's not good for sponges like it says, but it was good for the Wait, would I say sponges? It's good for the... Whoa. You can see it like this. Oh. Okay. Well, it's not doing anything for my sponge, so... Like I said, that's what it looks like. It's supposed to be fast, but I guess it's just not meant for sponges. Unless you hold it like this, but... I mean, what's the point of that? It's just not working. You know, it would probably be good for those mini sponges I see all the time. <laughs> but, you know, it's not doing nothing. Me... Unless mine's too big. I don't know. But, yeah. I guess that's the speed if anybody wants to know what it looks like. But, it's toss it over there yeah, it's cute it was definitely good for my brush let me try another brush actually um let's see what do i got um let's try this brush look at it it's got a pink thing too I didn't show you guys before. I gotta hold it at a good spot. Oh. Okay. Okay, over here was better. Okay. It's like a washing machine. It's a real about water swim. Okay. And oh, that pretty, that got it out pretty good. Let me see if it can focus. Yeah. Let me just I got it. 
pretty good for this. Let me turn this off. Got it good, I think. <laughs> Anyways, this was my review. Good for the brushes and not good for the sponges. So thank you for watching. And if you happen to see it at your local Five Below, then you should get it. Bye.